All right, guys, Chris Chico, and today's video, I'm going to talk to you about delegation and scaling. And I get a lot of questions and a lot of requests about scaling and delegation. And a lot of those questions are tactical in nature, which I, it's okay that they're tactical because you need the tactical. But the most important thing that you need above and beyond everything else is the mindset. Because if you don't have the right mindset, then the tactical at some point is not going to sustain your success. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about is the top three things for scaling and delegation. And we're doing it Rome edition. Over the next couple weeks, actually the next three weeks, I'm gonna be traveling to, I'm here in uh, Italy, in Rome. And I'm also, I'm gonna be in Israel. And we're gonna be doing our videos on location from there. And then after that, we got another trip planned. So you're gonna have some sightseeing also as well. And I'll have some help, right, Alex? <laughs> Lots of walking and hopefully I'll be able to lose that weight that I keep on gaining with all the places I go to eat. All right, so I'm trying to do this video here in the middle of a busy street here in Rome without getting killed. Um, so one of the, the first thing that it needs to happen is a, is a mindset shift. A mindset shift away from being a doer to being a coach, to being a guide. Because you got to where you are by being the doer in your business and by uh, just learning a particular task or a particular thing and then becoming great at it and then now you have success. And now at some point now, you, that's, that's no longer, that's gonna be an impediment to, to you, your success because in order for you to grow bigger, you need to be able to grow, oops, I'm kind of in the way here. You need to be able to grow your opportunity to get to, to to, to grow as big as it needs to get so that others can achieve their opportunity inside of your opportunity. That's how it works. So if you wanna make, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna do, you know, if you wanna do 10 deals a month, you gotta be able to then grow your opportunity so that somebody else can help you do deals. And now you're gonna do 10 deals a month and they're gonna profit a, a, a portion of that money because of the fact that they're helping by being an acquisitions person, etc. And so by being, by, so instead of you then say, if you learn something in order to be able to have the success that you have in your business, at some point, you learning more and doing more is not gonna work. You now have to get others involved that potentially are better than you in other parts of the business in order for you to be able to grow that business. So again, the mindset shift is from a doer to being a guide and a coach and a mentor to others inside of your business so that now you can achieve uh, you can achieve greater success. So that's step number one. All right, so I always like walking around yeah, look what we found here. Look what we found here. Walking around all the little side streets and seeing all the little shops and different things that there are here. Uh, it's always pretty cool. Well, there it goes again. <laughs> all right, so the next thing, the second thing with regards to effective delegation is gonna be figuring out the 80-20 in everything you do. And what does that mean? Well. I'll give you an example. So these videos here that you see here, in the beginning I was the one that was recording the video, I was editing the video, I was doing the thumbnail and everything else. And there was only so much of the videos that I could do. Now, but if you think about it, the, my biggest contribution to any of these videos that I'm making for you is for me to be able to record the video and, and give you my knowledge and help you in any way I can. Um, and that's really the thing that only I can do in the team and nobody else can do. However, the editing and the thumbnail and everything that's required in order to uh, put these videos up uh, can be done by somebody else. So, so now the process is that I go ahead and I will record the video. I will take the video and I will drop it into a Dropbox folder. And now someone is editing the video. They are creating the thumbnail. They are uploading it to YouTube. They're sending out the email. They are putting up the right tags and the right description and pretty much everything else. And so now I can just focus on the videos and that's my highest activity that I can provide. And so that is the same thing that you should be doing. So the example could be is let's say that, you know, one of the first hires that I recommend anybody do would be a, everybody always thinks that they should hire first an acquisitions person. And that's not the first hire. I think that the first hire should be a right hand personal assistant, somebody who is going to um, be able to take off your plate as much of the admin stuff as possible. And that admin stuff is, uh, for example, could be the uh, filing up with the title companies and uh, you know, doing your marketing, you know, setting, sending out your direct mail and all that stuff. Um, and let's say that if you, 
for example, or the one that's speaking with sellers, there's work that's required before you speak with a seller. A lead comes in, there has to be research, maybe the person didn't leave enough information, so they have to be called back in order to get the information required in order to be able to make a decision about that property. So all those things can be done by somebody else, and then at the very, very end, you go in and you take over, and then now you call that seller, and you put that deal together. And now let's say that the contract needs to be sent to the seller. Well, that's something that you could then have done by assistant or by done by somebody else they take and they put that contract uh, together they send it to the seller they make sure that the signature comes back etc uh, but again you did what your highest priority would be which is just going out and um, speaking with the property owner and uh, and making that offer and making uh, making that negotiation uh, doing the negotiation with the seller so that you can get the price you need so that's what I'm talking about what's the 80 20 and if you break down the 80 20 again it's you know what's the 95.5 of everything you do to make sure that in the end you are only focusing on those things that only you can do and now you are enabling other people on your team in order to be able to do those other things that they that anybody else can do so that's step number two all right the final thing i'm going to mention number three and that one's going to be a little bit more again of the mindset shift is something uh done by someone else at an eight is better than you doing it at a ten now, first of all, this presupposes that you can actually do it better than somebody else, which is I have learned and come to the uh, understanding that a lot of things I do, I think I do really well, but I don't do really well. Other people do it better. But let's suppose that, uh, that you can do it better. So the fact is, is that your 10 um, has a limit because it's you doing it. And at some point, you can't do everything in your business. And so therefore, now your 10 is not great for the business. Someone else's eight or seven could be great could be better for the business now that it again depends on a on the item so if it's not a critical component then it may not need to be a 10 it could be an it could be a seven so let me give you an example the thumbnails that you see for these videos i was the one that was doing them initially uh justin on the team is now doing them initially when he did them i didn't i didn't like them so i went in and i said oh, well let me redo the thumbnail uh, so I did, there's a couple things in there. Number one is that I've now transitioned to, uh, he is the owner of the thumbnail. And I give him suggestions, not directives, on the thumbnails. I give him suggestions on what I think could be better about those thumbnails. And if he does a thumbnail and I'm not particularly happy with it, I'll express that to him and he'll take care of it. And interestingly enough, a lot of the t times the thumbnails are better than mine. Um, and so in the end, uh, he's doing a much better job than I would have because I was doing too many things. And so that's the other thing that, I've, that you'll figure out is that you think you're doing it, you're doing something um, better than anybody else, but in the end, you're not. Uh, in fact, your, what you think is a 10 is actually a, a six or seven, or maybe a four or five, and then uh, once you get somebody else involved, you realize that they're better than you at it. Um, and so again, your, your, somebody else's eight is better than your 10. And that's another mindset shift that at the end, you have to be okay with things being done in a way that you don't feel like that's not exactly how you would do them. But in the end, if you focus on the outcome, it's certainly better that they, somebody else does it versus you. And in the end, your goal is to coach and to mentor and to guide who you have helping you um, so that they can grow, that they can do things at their best ability and you can provide the proper resources, etc. But that's the other critical component of uh, proper delegation. And uh, that is gonna be my video for today. Again, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'm gonna be taking you sightseeing over the next couple months. Actually, over the next, yeah, over the next couple months, I'll be taking you sightseeing and we'll have some nice conversations, but you'll get a chance to see uh, where I'm at and a few other, uh, interesting places how about that also i forgot to mention that if you are interested in learning how to successfully do real estate uh, virtual wholesaling and or also learn how to use facebook ads to find motivated sellers you should go to flipanywhere.com and you'll be able to see a presentation slash training that i did that's in, that's very that's it's not a big sales pitch it is definitely you're going to get out of it uh, exactly some great information and tidbits on how you can do Facebook ads for motivated sellers. And if you want to get more personalized help, then of course that's available to you. And uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys later.